50 miles an hour playing my guitar <laughs> on one side of the mountain road there was a mountain and on the other side there was nothing there was a cliff in the air you know when when you're going down a mountain road at 150 miles an hour you got to be very careful especially if you're playing a guitar <laughs> especially if that guitar is an acoustic guitar if it's an acoustic guitar, the wind pressure is greater on the box side than on the neck side because there's more guitar on the box side. I wasn't paying attention. Luckily, I didn't go into the mountain. I went over the cliff. <laughs> I was going at 100 miles an hour sideways and 500 feet down at the same time. I knew it was the end. I looked down. I said, wow, some trip. <laughs> I thought it, I, well, I knew it was, I knew it was my last trip. And, and in my last remaining seconds in the world, I decided to write one last farewell song to the world put a new ink cartridge in my pen. <laughs> Took out a piece of paper. I sat back and I, I thought a while. Then I started writing. I don't want a pickle. 
Just want to ride on my motorcycle. I don't want to take a ride. Rather ride on my motorcycle. And I don't want to die. Just want to ride my motorcycle. Well, I, I knew that it wasn't the best song I ever wrote. <laughs> but I didn't have time to change it. I was coming down mighty fast. But as you all know, and as fate would have it, I didn't die. I landed on the top of a police car. <laughs> and he died. <laughs> I drove away on the road that he was on. I came into town at a screaming 175 miles an hour, playing the motorcycle song. I came into town, I jumped off a bike. The bike went around the corner by itself, went up on the stand by itself, turned itself off. I walked over to my friend. He was standing there eating pickles. I said, hi, what's happening? He looked at me in the eye and said, nothing. You got to sing it with that kind of enthusiasm. <laughs> like you just washed a car. <laughs> I don't want